This is Morgana Key, and today I am back with Ash again. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a delayed response there. Uh, for another taste test. And everything here, to my knowledge, is either American or Mexican. We have got cocktail peanuts. Uh, I, I'm going to assume they're spicy. Uh, but they are toasted and not fried, says a happy peanut man. These are going to be spicy, aren't they? Are they? They're probably not as spicy as those ones I had before. Nothing can be as spicy as the ones I had before. <laughs> Actually, they just smell like Spanish peanuts. The dry roasted ones. Mm. And if they taste like dry roasted ones, I'm down for that. Because I like dry roasted peanuts. Oh, it's like a rock hard. I like dry roasted peanuts, but slightly different. Do you think there's a bit of heat to them? No, it's just me imagining it. <laughs> Maybe slightly, it did catch some at the back of my throat. Ever so slightly, very mild. Why are yeah, they nice. cocktail peanuts? <laughs> I think they're slightly sweet. I will find the ingredients. Might, might, be, might be difficult to tell because I've still got like small bits of the root beer in my mouth. Chili pepper. I was just about to say, why do I just want to eat them all? And the answer was the next ingredient, MSG. That's why. <laughs> yep, I like them. We've got a nugget bar. This looks very similar to something I got in one of the ration packs. I think it was the French ration pack. It had bits of fruit in it and peanuts, and it was really nice. Real peanuts, as opposed to artificial peanuts. You can't go wrong with nuggets. Unless you're one of these pretentious sorts who pronounces it as nougat. Oh, yes! That's proper like seaside standard that. That's the sort of thing you get from Whitby or something. Yes. Yeah. But you can't really go wrong with nugget. That's well, not to be a bit sticky, but this was this is nice. Nice. And well, the peanuts also work very well with it. Mm -hmm. I'm happy, I'm satisfied. I don't know what nuts you usually get in it around here. I think I've had peanuts. Mm, I think I've had one with peanuts in before, but it's normally coconut, isn't it? Mm. That's what I mean. <laughs> coconut ice. That's a different thing though. It's nuggety though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean it's usually sort of alongside the nuggets. The coconut ice things. I don't know because my nana likes it. Yeah, I like that. I like the nugget. I'm in a good mood now. We've got various flavours of e-fruity spicy bears. Cinnamon, ginger and chilli. I'm not looking forward to any of them, to be frank. I hate cinnamon, I hate ginger. And does chilli work in gummy bear form? Probably not. I like ginger and cinnamon. <laughs> Ash likes ginger and cinnamon. <laughs> well, we should have to do the same flavour at the same time. Unless you want the head and I love the body. Yeah. What eggs? I got two of them, so you may as well have one each. They don't smell of ginger, they smell of like naff gummy sweets. You don't taste the ginger either? Anyway. It's oh, like, a bit stronger inside. Do you think this is like really, really watered down ginger beer? Yeah. It doesn't taste so much like ginger beer, but... Oh, finish, there it is! After you finish uh, showing it, you get the tingle. There it is! The end. Yeah, I don't like that. It's not really flavourful <laughs> for a ginger. No, compared to some ginger stuff I've had that proper blows your head off. Really yeah, it's though. totally there now. Don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Do you think it's going to be hot at chilli or cinnamon? Depends on how much cinnamon I put in it. 
any cinnamon is too much cinnamon. It's about to show first. Going in at the deep end. The gummy itself's not of a brilliant quality either, is it? It's rock hard. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, it's quite spicy down the ginger. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's all down one side it's of my face. It's gross. <laughs> it's and we're just going to add to it with cinnamon and chilli. Who wanted spicy gummy bears? Whose idea was this? It tastes like fruit at first, but then it gets spicy. It's actually quite nice. No, it's not. <laughs> I think. Doesn't it taste like really fake cherry no. at first? Yeah, it tastes like cherry or something. At there first. it is. <laughs> and then it, you get the chili spice. It doesn't really taste like chili though. No, it just tastes like heat. Though to be fair, after I cried on camera with those freaking peanuts, I can <laughs> handle some spicy gummy bears. Yeah. Just... Ooh, they're getting warm. <laughs> ah, get rid, get rid. I'm stuck on my teeth. I've just bitten their heads off as, as penance for what they're doing. What else would you bite off first? We've got little stubby bites. <sighs> oh, it's just getting hotter. They're a very similar colour, you could easily mix them up. I don't like cinnamon. Like, I proper don't like cinnamon. I'll take as much of a bite as I want to. At least that one actually tastes like cinnamon. I know, and it's rank. <laughs> it's not as spicy as the chilli. No. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just the hot, spicy cinnamon -ness, ness ness It's like, um, it's like cinnamon you get in them horrible jelly beans. Yeah. But at least then you could poke a hole in them and sniff them and see if they actually were apple or cinnamon. And if there was cinnamon, throw them in the bin. It's, it's not as I'll feed them as, to her. It's not as like, strong as those uh, cinnamon jawbreaker things. Ah, oh, it's one like that. But it does taste like cinnamon. I think at a push, if there was absolutely no sweets left on earth, I could eat the ginger ones. <laughs> but that would be in severe times of crisis. Actually, I think the chili ones taste as the nicest. The ginger ones didn't taste much. They were all rank. Your guess is as good as mine. It's the original Megito. It's a powder of some description. Hopefully it's sweet. I don't know why it's different colours. Hopefully it hasn't got wet or leaked or anything. I haven't got a clue what this is. Hopefully it's a sherbet and not just like powdered chili flakes. Yeah, Mexico. Uh, accept no imitations. No accept a... Yeah, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> it honestly looks like it's got wet. I hope not. It's kind of got wet. It's been in an airtight box. Not even a knife. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get a knife. I will cut you with my knife. Stuck to the sides. Do you want to risk them? Yeah. I don't know when they could possibly have gotten wet though, because I've had them in an airtight box. Oh, condensation. It looks like that um, pink salt you get on stuff as a seasoning. Whoa. She's gonna regret doing that. It's sour. Man's salty. It's salty. There's no sweetness to it. That's just salt. 
a bit odd really. <laughs> I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes like salt. Mm. Salty sourness. I need to find someone from Mexico and ask them what, what that's all about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something that's definitely American. Dad's old fashioned root beer. And they're shaped like little barrels. And root beer is awful. And ask any British person what they think root beer tastes like, and they'll say Corvonia cough medicine. Shots fired. This can be a battle of will. <laughs> Whoops, nearly dropped it. See, it's like, where's the lens? It's like a little barrel. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You don't have to crunch it to get the flavour, you just get it straight away. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's the flavour. There it is, it was immediate. <laughs> These taste like them throat sweets when I, that I was eating last year when I wasn't very well. <laughs> Careful, like cough medicine. You don't taste as strong as the drinks. You actually had proper American root beer. And was it like drinking Cavonia? It was like drinking medicine. <laughs> Shots are fired. Americans, why do you like root beer? It tastes like cough medicine. You like cough medicine? Just come over here and have a bottle of Calpol or something. That's just what they use to flavour medicine here for some reason. <laughs> it's awful. And they don't use it for anything else, so it just tastes like a bit wet. Do you reckon that's what it is? That flavour is what we use for medicine? Oh yeah, probably. No. I think other parts of Europe use it as well. Yeah, medicine-y, really medicine-y. It's gone pink now, I've bit into it. Hey, finish my life, such <laughs> We'll wait. <laughs> Another thing that's American, Laffy Taffy, which is like the most Yorkshire thing ever, if you say it like that. Blue raspberry, I love blue raspberry. It's like the best American flavour ever, after grape. As in flavours we don't seem to get. The challenge in this is opening it. You think they'd put it in like wax paper or something it wouldn't stick to or do this with? Like play it all? Not a little bit of little balls. But I'm a cheating because I've had this before and I like it. Cut out the middle man, just eat the fucking plastic. It's a bit soft. <laughs> As you can see, stretch all over the thing. It's not like being raspberry. It tastes really rough. That works. <laughs> It'd be nice if we eat properly. I'll just pull that back together. <laughs> Get somewhere. I wasn't here. See no evil, see no evil. <laughs> now I'm sticky. I'm blue. I'm unnatural. Like a melting smurf. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I didn't eat enough. Well, I did chew up the packet. <laughs> did it come from the packet or the taffy itself? Put it down my teeth and all. <laughs> it did. It did. And Pulparindo Mango with a little superhero dude. Hot and salted tamarind pulp candy. So where does the mango come in? Hmm. The thing. It's not mango. Summit mango. Summit mango. This one's actually clean away from the kitchen at least. That's because it's not taffy. 
Just stick it. What the hell is that? Yeah, that. Looks like something that's been stood on. How am I gonna half that? Just tear it. There we go. Oh, it stinks. You know what it reminds me of, and I can't quite tell you why. It reminds me of Christmas. The Christmas pudding. They just got it fruity. Oh, it's gritty. Like someone dropped sweets on the beach and then you picked them up and ate them. Oh! It's like sticky Kali. There's the salt. Now what the grittiness is, it's just salt. Spicy or sour? I don't think it's spicy, it's bloody salty. I think that's the mango actually. Yeah, yeah it does taste of mango, but it's, I'm not a, a very, massive fan of it. It's a very concentrated sour mango taste. <laughs> With salt. Mm. It was pleasant at first, but then it's sort of. It's pleasant until you. It feels weird on your tongue. Bite the grittiness and get the salt. <laughs> no. When we're both in agreement on that. Not quite. <laughs> Best thing? Nugget. Nugget. <laughs> Followed by peanuts. Peanuts, nugget and uh, the taffy. The taffy, of course. If it were edible. If you could get it out the wrapper. Worst? Um, Cinnamon bears. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> The rest of it was. The bears, any of them. It was probably for the rest of for me. It was all on the scale of not quite right. All the peanuts and the nugget were like, yeah, I'll eat these. And the root beer things. I wouldn't choose to eat them, but if they were there, <laughs> if, if I had a sore to. throat, if I had to, probably go for a sore throat. Actually, there was, sure. this, there was this stuff. Oh no, it was bad. <laughs> that wasn't as bad as the other thing, though. Someone, please, someone from Mexico, answers on a postcard. What the hell is this? We should get some imitations because it says we shouldn't accept them. 